I did was I took the divider that came with the cage and made it super small in there. Wake up, get your cake up, cause it's all about the cream. You ain't living life unless you live in your dream. What up, though? What it do, ain't squatish boy every day, and I'm back with another YouTube video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go ahead and join the family. And don't forget when you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber, no. You part of the family now. So if you're not a part of squad, make sure you go ahead and join squad now. Yo, so I had to come at y'all today in squad and um really just speak to y'all. Really, you know what I'm saying? Starting to get pleased with my boy. I was super irritated for a minute, y'all, because this man has continuously used it. Use the restroom in his cage. And when I say use, I mean shit. This nigga has shit in his cage for the last 10 days straight. For the last 10 nights straight. Let me specify that. The last 10 nights straight, this man has took a shit in his cage. I have had to give this man a bath 10 days straight. Super irritating. Um, Hard to keep my composure with this man. And I know... You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to scald the puppy, right? Or a lot of people call this scald. But if I'm in the house and I catch you pee on my floor, I don't care what y'all say, what kind of old school way it is. It's natural to me. If I catch your ass peeing on the floor, nine times out of ten, I'm going to put your nose in and spank your bottom because you just peed in my floor. And that's just how I was raised. That's how I raised all my dogs. Might not be the right ray however y'all feel about it that's just how a nigga was raised and that's what i do if i catch you pooping on my floor i'm gonna be hot with you if i catch you peeing on my floor i'm gonna be hot with you on my camera if i catch you peeing on my floor i'm gonna be hot with you i'm gonna put your nose in and spank your bottom dude so with that being said you know what i'm saying this man done good in the cage today you know what i'm saying and tonight or, or yesterday night um he didn't poop the cage with that being said i did have to get up like twice through the middle of the night to stop this man from using it in the cage also guys what i did was i took the divider that came with the cage and made it super small in there for him y'all he literally just has enough room to Make a half a turn, uh, just a one complete turn. Only enough room to really just lay down. Not enough room to walk around or none of that. I know some of y'all struggling with the crate training thing. So that might be something you want to try. You might have too big of a crate. If your crate is too big, use the divider it came with and make it smaller for them so they can understand, hey, I do not want to poop right here. That way they don't have nowhere to poop and lay down too they don't want to lay in it they don't like being in it at all y'all so i did that and made this man a very small place to lay down in his crate also i try my best to take this man out once an hour you know or no definitely no no longer than an hour 30 minutes and every time i catch him waking up boom we go outside because I'm not trying to hit, let you have an accident in there. The more you let them have accidents in there, y'all, the more they become accustomed to thinking that shit is okay. And it's not okay for you to poop in your cage every day, bro. Also, another thing I did to um, switch the game up on them is I don't feed this man after two o'clock y'all so i feed him super early like six seven boom hit him with a meal and then about 12 1 30 anywhere from 12 to 1 30 i hit his ass with another meal y'all so he can have some food on his stomach but that leave you know what i'm saying what's that two three four five six seven eight nine ten that leaves so many hours for him from two till 10 11 whenever i decide to go to sleep that leave him plenty of hours to 
take at least two dumps through the middle of the day, y'all, to um, flush that poop out of him so he doesn't poop through the middle of the night. So I felt like that helped, y'all. So if y'all struggling with the uh, crate training thing, try some of these methods. Make the cage smaller with the divider. Don't feed your dog all random times through the day. And I do not let this man drink a lot of water, y'all. Uh, I only let Thanos drink minimum water, y'all, because anytime I see him stand up in the crate, I'm like, okay, it's time to go outside. Anytime he wakes up, it's time to go outside because he will pee the second he wakes up. So make sure you uh, are minimal when it comes to water intake. Don't starve your dog of thirst. Um, you don't want them to die of thirst type deal. I'm not doing it like that. I'm still letting him drink water, y'all. You just have to monitor them for the amount of water that you let them drink. So stay mindful and take heed to that, guys. Um, that's really what I wanted to get on here and share with y'all. I'm proud of this man because he didn't use it in the cage for a whole day and a whole night. Other than that, it's been terrible. Of course, it makes you want to give up sometime as far as training them and continuously having to give them a bath every day. Like, I was really thinking at one point in time, like, man, this ain't gonna work. I cannot. He just won't be in the house. That's how I felt, y'all. I'm like, this man will just not be in the house. He won't be a house dog. As small as he gonna be. But uh, I'm just like, man, I can't do like that. I can't give up on him. So still working with this dude. And I feel like he getting better. Or maybe I'm getting better, y'all. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? It's a big part on me getting up through the middle of the night. Of course, I would try to get up. Really, he would wake me up barking, y'all. But every time he barked, he had already pooped. You feel me? So it wasn't like a, uh, I'm barking for you to let me out. It's like, boom, I pooped. I'm barking. My cage is nasty. I done took a doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? Get me out of it type deal. So now I at least get up twice, y'all. And it hurt me to get up twice through the middle of the night, y'all. Uh, because... Especially when you got a normal sleeping pattern. Don't get me wrong. I wake up and pee through the middle of the night. But uh, I think I'm more more readily to get up now to stop from having to clean up doo-doo and bathe him the next day. You definitely don't want to give a dog too many baths. You definitely don't want to give a dog 10 baths, 10 days straight if you can help it because you don't want that coat to dry out. Luckily, his coat is fine. Uh, I feed him a lot of bacon grease and the correct foods and supplements that I need to feed him to keep his coat healthy. And I also use a great oatmeal-based shampoo. So really just wanted to get on here and holler at y'all today about that. Um, if you having trouble with crate training your dog, y'all keep pressing through. It's going to get better. Don't give up on your dog. I know it's easy to say, man, I'm done with this. You just finna be an outside dog or I'm just finna get you a crate that's lifted and the boo-boo and pee just fall down or whatever. But if you want a house dog, if you want a house break your dog, it can be done. But it's going to come have to come with a lot of patience from you as a, a master or an owner to your best friend and to your dog. So y'all be patient. Y'all stick it out. And uh, y'all gonna make it through, man. Hopefully, I was able to help somebody out with this video. And if I was, if you like this video, don't forget to leave your boy a thumbs up on this video. Uh, the thumbs up really just helps me to get my video view more. It makes YouTube want to show more people my video. So, let's do that, Ink Squad. And if you're not a part of Squad, boom, go ahead and join Squad. Dab on the subscribe button. When you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber. No. You part of the family now. Appreciate y'all time. I'll see y'all later. Y'all stay blessed. Say bye, Thanos. Where you at, dude? Thanos. Tell him have a good day. <laughs> All right. Check y'all later.